It only took one email and we were in. We might all come from different parts of the world, but we all jumped at the chance to do something that's never been done before. It was going to be an amazing adventure. Travelling with beautiful Bactrian camels for three months. And I was going to film it. We were going to be the first people to bring a caravan of Bactrian camels from the towering heights of the Himalayas down to Rajasthan and India's most famous camel event, the Pushka Camel Fair. This would be the first time Bactrian camels had set foot in Rajasthan. We are going to, we are going to see like the most amazing camels, girl, huh? We are going to see gypsies. I don't know where it all started to go wrong. It could have been the guy dumping us on the first day, or being cursed by the oracle. But either way, the official blessings didn't work. The spirit, mm -hmm. it, it protects your spirit. We had a plan, but it seems India had some plans of its own. Good boy, chop. This has got to be the most wildest camel adventure I've ever been on. We have finally made it to Rajasthan after five horrible days in a truck. <laughs> This beautiful guy with his uncapped toupee of a haircut and his beautiful doughy eyes. <laughs> Hitched up and ready to rock. When our first camel died, everything changed. And losing him is like losing a, really my camel, really in, inside. And this like, uh, was like a member, uh, member of family. The death triggered an avalanche of threats and intimidation. They're looking to take us to court for animal cruelty. They've sent a petition to a politician, a big politician in Delhi. They want to take us to court for animal cruelty in India. When the BBC branded us camel killers, that really turned up the heat. We are on the phone now with the BBC, dealing with the BBC because of people like him. You tell him to delete the photo. You tell him to delete. For every reader of the BBC, I am cruel against animal. Okay. I am a cruel man, all right? Am I a cruel man? I want this to stop now. Nobody will come and save us, nobody. Just when we thought we were doomed and gonna do some time in an Indian jail, along came Dan. Good morning, guys. How are you going, man? How are you? I'm Dan. Dan? And, uh, from where? From England. Okay. And I did this last year. I rode across North India on camels, so we thought we'd come and see you guys. Really? Did you have any problems, right? Yeah, we lost two camels on the way. Dan introduced us to some powerful people, and they helped us escape to a secret farm. It's like we have to, we have to watch out and they're not following us as well. This is like an American TV series of some sort of crazy scenario. While running from the media and the government pressure, Paratapur died. His death shattered us all. By the time we made it to the fair, we weren't really the same people that had begun. And I doubt we'll ever be the same again. No, fucking camel. We were forced to look deep into our souls and face our collective madness.